Today, I'll show you how to do your Bitpanda crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about Bitpanda. This is a redo of a video we did in the past. Some corrections need to be made. So no, you're not having deja vu. Uh, I have covered this wall before, but we wanna make sure we get it right. So I'll tell you a little bit about this exchange. Then I'll jump into the very straightforward integration, and then I'll show you how to get the necessary tax documentation. Lastly, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, I'll leave a bunch of different resources that you can look at. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So Bitpanda is based out of Vienna, Austria, and it was founded in 2014. Currently it is a top 100 exchange by trading volume. On top of crypto, they offer a bunch of different assets you can invest in. So obviously, you know, crypto, stocks, slash ETFs, and also precious metals, which is really cool. Um, you can basically have one platform to invest in many different things. They offer also crypto indices, which allow you to auto invest in the whole crypto market with a single click, which is you know super convenient, super easy, especially for some users that don't have time to kind of research uh, every single type of crypto they like to buy. But that's enough about them. Let me show you the integration part of this video. So first off, obviously log into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can create one completely free and follow along until you're happy to get a plan with us. So anyways, go into the wallets area, click on add wallet. We're gonna type in Bitpanda and we have two different options. We have the API, which I would strongly recommend because it saves you a lot of time and it's very easy. And then we also have the import from file option, which I will also show you after the first part. So let's go into the setup auto sync. So we're just looking for an API key. So heading over into Bitpanda in the top right corner, literally click on a face of a panda. Really cool by them to have that there. So from the drop down menu, we're gonna click API key and then we're gonna give it a name. We can call it something like Coinly. Expires on is an optional um, thing you can select. I leave it off. And then we wanna select trading, um, transaction and balances. So Coinly is actually not interested in moving any of your funds. This is just so Coinly can access all that information and make your life a lot easier by calculating your crypto taxes. So an API key has been created. We want to confirm it and then we're going to get a email with that key. So once you go into your emails, it's gonna ask you to confirm, confirm this um, key that you're making. So obviously keep these keys private. This is a demo and a demo account, so I don't really care about showing you what my keys look like. So anyways, copy and paste that API key and uh, copy and paste it into Coinly and click secure import. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. So that's one route we can take. If you'd like to go down the CSV route, no problem. Let's go back into Coinly, um, click on Bitpanda once again and click import from file. Now we're gonna go back into Bitpanda in the top right corner. Once again, click on the Panda and then from the drop down menu, we're gonna click on history and the top right corner here, you will have an option to export um, your data. Also make sure to import your entire history uh, into Coinly. So let's say you've been using, you know, Bitpanda for many years. Sometimes these CSV files will have limitations on, you know, what kind of coverage they get. So sometimes it'll be three months, six months, a year. Um, make sure to export as many files as you need that cover your entire transaction history from day one till whatever your tax year is. So take that file, drag and drop it into Coinly and click import and there you have it. So once you've imported your data one way or another, you can go into Coinly again and click on the transactions area. And here you can kind of see underneath the hood of what's going on. Also making sure that you tag your, you know, um, earning transactions correctly, send to pool, send from pool, that kind of stuff. Once you're happy with that, go into the tax reports area and here you'll get a summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. So your capital gains, your costs and expenses, your transactions. Um, you can use this area to see kind of where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And once you're happy with that, scroll down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different tax reports as you can see on the screen before you. So for the US, we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, other countries. We have the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant to combine with your other tax documentation or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their account seat firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that about does it for today's video. If you need further assistance, I'm gonna leave a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. Then we have a feed uh, forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. Then we have a feedback section. If you're having any issues with our software, 
And then lastly, if all else fails, send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.